Good morning, everybody. It's Christian from Sin Education with the Four Majors Nuns update for the 11th of December 2013. Morning, guys. Uh, four Majors morning using the FX8 Ultimate Template. And let's start with the year against US dollar on the daily. Okay, so you can see a continuation still maintains the upside. Yesterday's candle very much uh, bullish. However, slight consolidation to the downside as we closed in the year session. However, still maintaining that. On the Asian session, very much um, indecisive. And I'm going to just move in so you can see it. Uh, very much indecisive. We still had a slight pullback to start with during the Asian session. However, as we're heading into the European Open, we are seeing price actually testing the current uh, highs. The indicator box is still very much telling us we should be looking for buying sentiment. And all our indicators are still telling us we should be looking for highs. The only thing we've got to be well aware of now is we are now moving into the high end of this trend. And we are coming into uh, the area where price actually stalled back in uh latter october so the late periods of october you can see consolidation over here we are trading into this area over here so if you are still um, in this particular trade still going long towards this level at the top here um, i suggest you start to, to just keep an eye on your stop placements if you go down to a four hour time frame you can see on the four hour the macd and the parabolic sar are not in go but you could see the last 20 hours or so we haven't seen any new highs and if we're not seeing any new highs then it's more likely for price to start to consolidate. Now we start seeing the Osmo indicator for the first time uh, in the past um, couple of weeks um, actually trading below the zero level. So that momentum now, that sense of momentum moving higher is starting to fade now. Um, RSI is well overbought. And it's not telling us price is going to pull back straight away, but it's telling us it's well overbought. And if it's well overbought, then we're going to start seeing a shift in, in price action. Uh, the RMO is still well above. Um, we are still very much in a, in a positive trend for this particular pair. But as I mentioned, as the higher we go, um, we're starting to see people taking a lot more profit off the table. And that's primarily as we head into those October highs. So you can see price is being quite hesitant over the last 20 hours or so. And um, a lot of indecision candles because of that. So when you start seeing a lot of indecision with a lot of uh, with with no clear decisiveness, then you start need, you need to start moving your stops up. So if you have your price stop run here at 13.73 and change, I'd look to actually bring it up uh, at the undersides over here, for example, just to if you get stopped out, then so be it. Um, if, if if you have been in, in this for this period of time, you made a nice profit. But if you're looking to trade this, um, I'd look for bullish engulfing candle. My only concern is if we do get a bullish engulfing candle on the four hour, how much is going to really uh, that, that candle is really going to eat in, into your potential profit. Um, from the current highs to the all-time high, we're still looking at 65 pips. But if you're looking for a bullish engulfing candle, whether it be a four-hour and hourly, how much is it, uh, is it going to eat into that and how much are you going to start looking at risk? So here again, very, very important when you're looking at uh, trading opportunities. Moving on to sterling. This one, uh, you can see the indicator box is pretty much mixed. Uh, the long-term sentiment is still favoring the upside and and most importantly it, it, it's it's been great primarily because we actually broke above this current uh, resistance level uh, range from september october and then through november we had the breakout but then trading straight into the monthly fib and getting to the monthly fib we had a lot of indecision candles we've seen price pull back however on friday we had a nice bullish engulfing candle moving higher it just scraped above the monthly fib and um, yesterday's momentum actually trading taking it higher so now above the monthly fib which is a good signal for 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 strength it now needs to spend time about and it, it needs to spend the, the remainder of this week in particular building support now you can see before a lot of resistance now if it's trading above the monthly fib that's telling us that sentiment still wants to favor the upside you can see the indicator is uh, long-term sentiment still wants to move to drive higher the r squared is complementing all that buying however intraday you can see a total change five minutes in particular but our 15.30 and hourly, the sentiment driving lower and the R squared complementing that. So you'll notice that um, all our, our institutions moving up to a below price. So the, the trend is still high, long but consolidated because the, the institution moving average is still below price. But remember, the institution uh, moving average have here, prior resistance becoming new support. So on our four hour, hourly, etc., we want to see price now moving higher and finding support on here. You can see on the breakout a number of days ago, price actually broke out the pullback and then we had a four hour candle move higher. However, she failed to really take any other four hour candles higher than that since then. So sentiment still not wanting to move higher. It is above, but still trying to find the overall market to move with her. And you can see she's now come unstuck. So she's retesting the monthly fib for the for the second time in as many days. And 
it's still positive in the RMOs and the OSMO. However, uh, the, R the RSI is, is also above that level. Let me just change it to 14 so it shows us the intraday. There we go. Still above. But you can see this prior high over here. Um, testing the, prior, the same high. There we go. Oop, apologies. Let me see if we can draw a straight line. It'd be great. But you can see the RSI also just dropping here. So, um, yes, it's good because it's above the monthly FIB. However, not finding that sentiment to move it higher. So, this monthly FIB over here has to be the very strong support, which was prior a very strong resistance level. If we fail to see the um, price actually finding support in here and actually finding a bullish engulfing candle, we could see price driving through this monthly FIB again and then going within this consolidated range. You can see here we spent a lot of time trading uh, just uh, indecisively between the two points. And it, if price is trading between these ones, over here, you don't really be really trading in that consolidative range area. Rather give it back to the market because it is trading around the monthly FIB level, which is, happens to be a major support and resistance level. And if price is going to be moving backwards and forwards between this level, um, it's still not really uh, trend directive. Um, and, and subsequently, we shouldn't be trading that because you could be trading consolidation. And if you are trading consolidation, you're not making profit for one and, you miss, and, you, and you're losing out on time, which is not really, really good um, trading uh, trading management. So very, very important. We do need to see a bullish engulfing candle move higher, ideally a daily for uh, daily f a candle moving higher, a lot of sentiment um, to, to com confirm that uh, Sterling is much happier now trading at the upper side of the 38.2 monthly FIB and then we could start targeting our current highs. The August highs of 2011 which will be here at 1660 and, and change and then there's the same year again but the April uh, 2011 highs which is at 1672 and change. So here be patient, uh, not much news out for Sterling this morning um, so got to make sure that for this week in particular we see price actually using the monthly FIB as a support level where before she was using it as a resistance level. US dollar Swiss franc moving lower and subsequently as you can see now trading well into the the, month, uh, the, the, the weekly 38.2 FIB level. Yesterday's candle moving lower, the price also testing the price support and resistance level. Everything is still looking uh, short for this particular pair. My only concern was the fact that the, the weekly FIB was uh, pretty much right there in place. So you can see the sentiment indicator box over here very much still negative. Uh, the bits and pieces intraday is starting to look positive. Uh, the R squared is complementing a lot of the selling we're seeing on the weekly, daily, and four hour. Uh, ideally, you'd like to see more of that, but this is clearly not going to be decisive because we're trading into the weekly FIB. Uh, we want to see price now closing below that uh, by the end of this week. If we can do that, then that's really going to uh, set prices off to trade even lower, and we can start looking towards our 23.6 weekly FIB to the downside. And as I mentioned yesterday, there's a healthy 670 odd pips to that next level, a major drop off. So uh, price over here, you can see the, the RSR, um, if I just change that because we're looking at daily to 21, you can see heading towards that 30%, so it's still negative. Um, the awesome indicator is also very negative, but you can see that the candle in play right now is uh, dark green, and you can see where we're trading in terms of the major support and resistance level. Uh, the RMO is still clearly below. So the, the sentiment still favors shorts. Just got to be well aware that we're trading into a weekly FIB level. Go down to the 4 hour, you can see that the last uh, 20 hours, in fact, has been very, very uh, indecisive. You can see a lot of indecision handles here. Spinning tops, dojis, and you can see the awesome indicator, even though we're moving lower, this is now consolidative. It's moving into the green area. And you can see that if our Go down to a 4 hour and change it to a 14 period so we can see intraday. You'll notice that the RSI is well oversold. Okay, sold into a major support and resistance in terms of the weekly FIB level. So the only thing that's going to uh, continue this negative sentiment is a bearish engulfing counter close lower. You can see we're seeing swing low, swing low, swing low, swing low, swing low. Everything's in our favor. The awesome indicator is the only thing that's not, but that's primarily because we're consolidative now and we're trading, we're finding a bit of support, intraday support at the weekly FIB level. So now the only thing that's going to complement is either a bearish engulfing candle to, 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 to continue shorting with long-term sentiment. The upside would be a bullish engulfing candle close on the daily. That would then tell us we should be looking for consolidation for the foreseeable future or for the remainder of this week. And then we could start to, if you want to, be quite aggressive in, and sculpt some pips to the upside. However, we always want to be trading with long-term sentiment. In this case, the US dollar rank is negative. We're looking for a bearish engulfing candle close lower than the weekly which then would then suffice that we should be looking for lower lows. And then, as I mentioned to you, we've got a nice 670 odd pip target to that level. Last pair of the day, US dollar Japanese yen. I mentioned to you recently, we are seeing a divergence on this particular pair. And sure enough, uh, yesterday's candle and this morning, we are seeing a clear indication of that. 
price moving higher. However, the awesome indicator very much moving in the opposite direction, but our RSI is also doing likewise, uh, uh, not making a high highs or not moving with price. And that's a, a real concern as we head into the weekly Fib level, which is our April highs of 2013. Nice breakout, moving higher. However, as we head or get quite close to those April highs, people are going to start taking profits. A lot more profits going to be taken. And subsequently, what happens is you start seeing price actually consolidating. And the sentiment starts changing from one of positiveness to one of negativity as more selling contracts are swapped up. You can see how the long-term sentiment is still very much long. However, intraday, very much negative in the R squared is complementing that selling because there's a lot more uncertainty um, as we move higher towards that monthly, or sorry, the weekly FIB level or resistance level highs that we saw in April of this year. So if I just zoom out uh, so you guys can see that clearly, there we go. May, April, May highs. Look where price is trading right now in conjunction to that. So people who actually bought aggressively on the breakout of this wedge formation earlier on the monthly high would have now been deep in profit and now they're starting to take a lot of their profit off the table because we're trading into those uh, 2013 highs. Okay, so be well aware of that, guys. Uh, in your in your in your setups today, in your trading setups, always very very important to look at the last daily candle to tell you where sentiment lies. And you look at the daily here on on yen yesterday, bearish engulfing candle after a lot of indecisiveness, and clearly there are the awesome indicators now moving lower, RSI is moving the opposite direction. Yeah, the RMO is still going to point uh, show us it's still above the zero because we're very much in a strong trend. So now we're seeing consolidated in a very strong trend as we head into the weekly highs. So Back it up some management, guys. It's a fantastic template. However, you still got to abide by money management rules, and they've got to be very, very strong ones. This particular template is very mechanical in its approach, and that's how trading should be done. Very mechanical, to try and keep the emotion out of trading. So, if you are interested in actually getting your hands on this particular template, or want to know more about it, please don't uh, just drop us an email at supportedsereneducation.com or info at sereneducation.com and we'll get back to you as quickly as possible. Otherwise, I'm going to leave you with that. Hope you have a fantastic trading day today, and I'll catch you guys first thing tomorrow morning. Until then, you guys trade serenely.